And now it gives me distinct pleasure to introduce what I would call the godfather of Cherryland. Please join me in welcoming uh, County Supervisor Nate Miley. So good morning everyone. It's a distinct pleasure to be here this morning. It's still morning, yes. Yeah, like Lou was saying, hopefully I, I won't get choked up because um, you know, when I was initially campaigning to run back in 2000, Lou took me on a tour of Cherryland drove me all around Cherryland. I didn't know what Cherryland was. I didn't have a clue about Cherryland. <sighs> Boy. And I did know, based on what people were telling me, how they felt Cherryland and Ashland, some of the communities out here were, felt like they were second class citizens, not treated well by the county. And to see where we've come since that time is just its phenomenal. And I'm just very pleased to have been part of that journey. You know, uh, staff's prepared some remarks that I'll, I'll get to in a minute. <clears throat> but let me just say, you know, hard since I've been in office, I've been the county supervisor here since 2001. I've worked with hard on a number of projects. We've partnered on a lot of projects. And um, I'm very, very proud to have hard as a partner out here in the unincorporated area, working with uh, the county in my office. And I could go through a litany of projects that we've worked on, this being, you know, the culmination of one of them and others to come. So I'm just very, very thankful to have Hard, and I just want to applaud all the Hard staff, directors, and everyone associated with Hard. I also want to thank Eileen Dalton and her staff. Uh, Eileen's somewhere around here, right there. There's Eileen and Jamie and Marita and others, because Eileen was the director of the county's redevelopment agency redevelopment department and they were tasked with securing the funding and shepherding this project through and you know there were countless 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 meetings on this particular project with the county staff with hard staff with the community um, I you know Eileen might have a record of all the many many meetings that, that were that were held in the, in the history of this project, like Lou said, started with the community. And when my office, working with the community, launched the Eden Earth Livability Initiative in 2003, Cherryland, we held a charrette for the unincorporated area with about 400 folks. And this was selected at that charrette to be one of the signature projects that we wanted to get accomplished for the unincorporated area, one of five. Ashland Community Center, Ashland Youth Center was one as well. This project started in 2006, and we were hoping to deliver it in 2000, by 2013. I was always on Eileen's back about this. Um, and then, you know, our former governor dismantled redevelopment, and we thought, okay, we're not, we don't have the funds for this project any longer, and it didn't, it didn't happen. The Board of Supervisors, the Board of Supervisors, Wilma Chan, uh, approved funding, um, $90 million, and of which $22 million was set aside for this project to continue it as a tier one project. And we thought, well, we're, 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 we can see light through the end of the tunnel. 
but little did we know there'd be additional costs associated with this project, additional monies that needed to be secured, um, and those funds were secured through redevelopment, former redevelopment. Eileen always has a little treasure chest back there holding on to some dollars. Uh, and so we were able to add some additional dollars to the construction uh, costs associated with this facility. And we didn't want to spare any, any pennies when it came to making sure that this was something the community could be proud of. I mean, this is the crown jewel, I think, for Cherry Land. Um, I am just so, so phenomenally pleased to have this for Cherry Land. And I also want to, uh, in addition to acknowledging the community, the redevelopment staff of the county and all the other county staff that have been involved in this, you know, I want to acknowledge my staff. Uh, I have some of my current staff here, but also former staff who have gone on to work for other elected officials and do other great, fantastic things and are still serving the community. Because <clears throat> I like to tell people I'm only as good as the folks I work with, and, and I'm only as good as my staff, and then, and then all of you who we serve and work with over the years. Uh, we can't do this alone. We do this at your behest and with your involvement, and with your direction, your guidance, your support. So I'm thankful for that. So this project is one of the Eden Air Livability Initiative projects. It took us, this is now 2021, it took us since 2006 to get it accomplished, but we got it accomplished. Yes. <laughs> and I just want to say, when we started this too, as Lou pointed out, it was the community. We actually had the community gather, look at you know, possibilities, uh, imagine what they would want to have, you know, go through a lot of different meetings with our, our county redevelopment staff, think the possibilities. We went on tours to see other community facilities uh, in the county. We brought in folks to uh, talk to us about community facilities. We saw community facilities uh, virtually as well. Um, you know, we did a lot with the community to try to get a sense of what folks wanted. And where would this project be located? Because at one point it was going to be located down on Hampton near Mission, uh, because there were a number of locations that were being considered and a number of possibilities. But ultimately, this site was chosen, and ultimately, this design uh, was chosen. But you know, there was a, a methodical approach to uh, involving the community and engaging the community in our efforts associated with this project from day one. So that's why it was a collective effort. Uh, this community center was identified as a priority project, as I said, during the Eden Air Livability Initiative process. Expansion of the neighborhood's infrastructure uh, being a main goal of the Eden Air Livability Initiative. Many of you are, were involved in that. And I just want to say, too, the reason I'm choked up also, because I haven't seen some of you in person in more than a year. It is really great to see so many of you in person. I mean, my goodness, I've seen some of you remotely. I've talked to you remotely, but to see you in the flesh on a gorgeous day is like, oh man, it's just, it, you know, higher power is wonderful, whatever, you know, just want to say that it's just great. Um, the commitment to the community to build this facility, um, we used funds but they, as I said, with the dissolution of redevelopment, those funds became in uh, jeopardy. But the project cost was $22 million. But in addition to the $22 million of redevelopment money that we put into this project, over the years we've done other things. As Lou pointed out, we delivered on sidewalks. Uh, sidewalks out here, I know uh, Bob Campisi told me, you know, God, God rest his soul, uh, you know, he never thought he'd see sidewalks in Cherryland. We, we delivered on sidewalks, that was $20 million of sidewalk improvements out here in Cherry Land. We built a new, the first new fire station in the county in more than 40 years. It's here in Cherry Land. We built a new fire station, station number 23, completed in 2017. That was a $9 million project. We're undergrounding utilities on Mission Boulevard, another $30 million project. And as some of you know, we're working on the Meek, Meeklin Avenue streetscape. 
that's a seven million dollar project. So all these projects were to the benefit of Cherry Land because I was bound and determined, and the county staff know this, because I'm on them about this always, we want to show respect to the citizens of Cherry Land, the unincorporated area. We want them to, un to understand the county sees them, hears them, and wants to serve them. Um, and if you were in the city, we want to make sure we're treating you as well as you might be treated if you were in a, in a, in a city. I've already recognized uh, our partnership with HARD. HARD, we've tapped them to manage the facility. They've worked with us on the design. As has been pointed out, the county purchased this property. And um, we're going to continue to be engaged in ensuring that uh, this property uh, stands the light of day. I mean, the parking lot was expanded to accommodate more guests and visitors to have a uh, you know, wedding in the park, come over here and have a reception in the, in the community center. Uh, it's just so many things that this, I think this facility will, will provide over time. So I just want to, once again, just thank, thank the Cherryland community for your patience, your perseverance, the fact that you held us accountable. Sometimes these things aren't sprints, they're marathons. But like Lou said, you know, we can get it done, we can make it happen, and as public servants, it's always great to be at these type of, uh, of um, events, because nobody's screaming and yelling at you. Everybody's happy and joyous. Uh, and it might have taken us a long time, but, but we made it happen. So I, I want to thank you all. I, wanna, I know there's a few folks, like Michael's here from the Eden Area MAC. You know, we created an Eden Area Municipal Advisory Council for this area as well. So there's a lot of good things have happened, and uh, as I said, I'm just really happy to have been along for the journey. And I want to, once again, recognize and thank both my current staff, former staff, and everyone else who helped us make this reality. And I could say the best is yet to come, but I don't want to make that promise or commitment, so thank you all. All right. So we're going, to cut, we're going to wrap this up right now. Yeah, I, I have no closing remarks. I would like to invite all of the electeds here today to come up. We're going to cut this ribbon, open this building, and we're going to go forward in the most amazing community center that the district's seen in many, many years.
Hi there. 